All right, so we've looked at a lot of our components uh, that kind of make this system up, and I kind of want to give you uh, just a small kind of sample of, of uh, how these uh, components can kind of be put together, shape them to your garden. Uh, this, this little demonstration I'm gonna do would probably be pretty representative of say a, uh, you know, like a four by eight raised bed if we were trying to add uh, drip irrigation to that. And I, I just want to show you, uh, I've kind of, I've kind of pre-cut uh, some of the, some of the transport tubing and I've got some different fittings here. And just kind of show you how easy that goes together and kind of how you can shape it uh, into whatever you want to. And, and this is just one example. Um, like I said, it can really be modified uh, any way that you'd like to do it. But so for the most part, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is try to make kind of a two line system here. So like I said, if I'm thinking about a four by eight bed and I wanna run two lines, uh, maybe I've got two rows of plants uh, in that four by eight and I kinda wanna run uh, a drip line to either one. Um, just gonna kinda show you how to piece those together. So for this, I've got, I've got a couple 90s uh, that I'm gonna use a uh a t uh, to get our water line into it like i said some different pieces of the tube and like i said these are pre-cut and they're short they're not uh they're not cut to length or anything like i said they're, they're more or less just to give you a representation uh of what we're what we're doing and then i've got this little piece here these this goes on i'm gonna show you how to put on the the end of the lines just to uh, uh to cut that water flow off to the pipes obviously these pipes don't have ends on them they're open-ended pipes uh so we've got to crimp that uh, so water is cut off at the end and it doesn't just flow through the pipe. So we'll look at how to put that together. Um, so we'll start, <clears throat> like I said, I'm going to, uh, uh, I'm going to start with a T. Obviously I've got a, a, a water line coming into my system, uh, that's coming from my water hose. So I've got to be able to connect that, that water that's coming from the house or wherever that's coming from into my line and then support water in two different directions if I'm going to run two lines. So. I'm gonna start, uh, like I said, by, by hooking up my water line here. Uh, and all these go, if you notice on these little pipes, these, uh, these ends, they're threaded just like a, just like a faucet. Uh, and you want, to, you want to thread those all the way down as far as they go and then slide your pipe uh, you know, on there as good as you can. And then all you really have to do is you twist that down until it's tight and it's secure. Okay, you don't have to do anything to it. It doesn't take any glue doesn't take anything. You gotta remember this is low pressure. Okay, so we're not pushing a whole lot of pressure through here. So that's enough to hold that hold that line in. So here I've got a water line coming in now, like I said, from a, from a water faucet or something, and I'm, I'm feeding this uh, into this T, and it allows me to go in two different directions. Okay, because I wanna run two lines down my, down my raised bed. Okay, so I'm going to uh, connect like I said, all this is just for transporting water. So I'm gonna do this on each end just to uh, spread my lines out. Again, I'm gonna twist that down tight, get that uh, to where it holds, and I'm gonna do it uh, on both sides of that. Okay, so, and it takes a little push, and it's not real hard to get on, but, but you, have to, you have to push it a little bit. And then like I said, make sure that that's, that's uh, screwed down tight, and that's it. Okay, so now I've got a water line coming in that's feeding my water. And I've got two transport lines that's gonna let me feed into my bed, okay? So if this was, if this was laying uh, in a raised bed here, you could kind of see how that, would, how that would be shaped. It'd be coming in. I've got those two lines going out. Now I'm gonna use my 90s on each end um, to, take the, to take the water flow uh, down the beds there, okay? So again, all I'm doing is pushing those on, screwing them on tight. That's all you've got to do. Uh, again, there's no glue, uh, there's nothing like that. So if I need to take these off and change uh, something, it's very easy to do. Um, you can do that very simply uh, by just unscrewing that, taking that off. I wanna put a different fitting. So now I've got, like I said, I've got a water line uh, here, okay? And it's letting me feed into, into my, my shrub beds there, okay? So these would be my, my lines that are actually gonna feed uh, into the beds. So I'm gonna slip those on. And you can see how I compared it to a Lego system. It's, it's really adaptable to, to basically uh, whatever fittings you have and, and whatever shape you want to, uh, to create, it allows you to do that. <clears throat> so I'll put this line on real quick. Okay, so really in just a matter of minutes, I have pieced that together. Now, 
if you'll notice a lot of this tubing okay if i can show you see how it, it, it's going to be in a curled package when you get it as this tubing heats up and it starts to warm up it will lay straight for you and it, it'll it'll cooperate a lot better a lot of times straight out of the pack like this it's it's been um kind of bound up and twisted so it's a little tough to work with when you when you first get it but like i said as it sits out in the sunlight uh and that heat gets to it uh, it becomes a lot more flexible and a lot easier to work with on that so as you can see i've got uh a t in here for my for my system and it's feeding uh two lines uh that are going to feed my system now this is solid piping so on this particular one i would have to uh, go in and add my emitters uh, to that particular line wherever I wanted them. Okay, so if I wanted them on 12 inch spacings, I'd go in every 12 inches um, with my little tool and I would add those wherever I want those to go. Okay, so it may be, like I said, I may, uh, each row may be different. Depends on what I've got planted uh, in each row. That's the, that's the good thing about uh, drip. Like I said, it's easy to modify uh, for whatever you're trying to water. Uh, but as you can see, like I said, Really doesn't take any tools. I do recommend, you know, either a good sharp knife or a little utility knife or something like that for, for cutting the, the black tubing. Uh, cuts it real easy, it's easy to use. Um, you know, be careful with it, it's obviously sharp uh, as you're cutting those. But like I said, easy to put together, easy to modify, lots of different options uh, that, you can, uh, that you can do with this particular system. Um, like I said, if I wanted to, um, I wanted to have different types of emitters uh, on that line. I, I'm able to do that. So it gives you lots of options as far as what you can do uh, with the different material.